In 2008, my next party piece was to run seven marathons in six days for Crumlin Children's Hospital. Now this one was slightly different, because with this one, I didn't have anybody to train with. You know, I, I phoned up a few friends, a few people I thought might be interested, and basically said, hey guys, any of you want to run seven marathons in six days? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Nobody. And I was on Facebook, it was like, unfriend, 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 unfriend. <laughs> but uh, not, not as severe. But um, the purpose of this, again, was to raise money for charity. And, it, you know, I had like, a very good, strong base fitness built up. So I just thought, yeah, you know, let's, let's try and do something next. Let's take it to another level. So a funny story, actually. Um, I did all my training, or most of my training, in the Phoenix Park in the wintertime with a headlamp on my head. And it got to the point, because I was doing such great distances, I mean, you're nearly doing two quarters of a marathon each time I'd go out training, that I used to come across herds of reindeer all the time in different pockets. And it got to the stage that they got so used to me, they wouldn't actually move out of the way. <laughs> so they got so used to seeing this headlamp coming and realized, no danger here, and I had to pick my way through them. So that was 2008. So between um, organizing the event for, for people in need on the street, and running the seven marathons in six days, it actually opened the way for one of my biggest goals that I always wanted to achieve, and that was to own my own business. So in 2008, I set up Rhino Event Management. Now the truth be told about this is that Humpty Dumpty was pushed. I wasn't, it wasn't actually by choice. I was made redundant in 2008. In fact, I knew I was being made redundant when I was doing the seven marathons in six days. So it was a little bit of a downer for motivation, but um, you know, the, the business plan at that stage, you know, I started taking a serious look at it. And with that, I didn't jump into this easy. I didn't just decide to go from one to the other, you know, one to the other like a light switch. Uh, clearly it would have been easier and safer option to go back to a nine to five job. But this desire to own my own business and be self-employed is something that I've always held. And thankfully it's, 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 it's going okay. Thank you very much. I won't say it's setting the world on fire. I still go back to contract work in the winter time, but yet it's you know it's something that I always wanted to achieve, and I'm delighted to be able to say that that I got there. And subsequent to setting up Rhino Vet Management in 2012, I qualified as a life and business coach with the uh, Irish Life Coach Institute. So again, it was another goal that I really really wanted to achieve. And actually, there's a story about triathlon and life coaching that I have, and that is that seven years ago. I wanted to become a life coach. But at that particular moment in time when I became aware of life coaching and actually did a session with somebody and was so impressed with it, I had a choice to make between triathlon or life coaching because they both came at the same time. And this is one of the things that you gotta do, folks, when you're actually sitting down with your goals. Sometimes there can be a primary goal in there that if you, if you, if you stick to that primary goal, and I'll talk a bit more about this later, you then, that goal can be the key to unlocking all your other goals. So if you think of the path that I came to there, I went to triathlon, I went to setting up events, and by setting up the events it gave me the opportunity then, or the free time, to do the life coaching course. So at that time when I was sitting down there going, will I become a life coach, or do I want to concentrate on Ironman? You know, one choice, which turned out to be the right one by listening to my gut feeling, rationalizing it, writing it down, turned out, to bring all the other goals on forward as well. 